He'd never got past round two in Blackpool before, but he is putting on one hell of a show at the Winter Gardens. Roland Shelton, that's what it meant to him, through to the semi-final of the World Match Play. Confirmation, what's happened so far today? James Wade, so impressive against Chris Mason. Roland Shelton, 16-13 over Ronnie Baxter. It's Wade against Shelton in the semi. Wayne Mard, Landy Hamilton, Phil Taylor against Dennis Priestley. That's the evening session, 7 o'clock, Sky Sports 1. Quick look at the draw, just show you how it's all uh, working out at the moment. You can see uh, Wade and Shelton. Uh, the semi-final will be decided from that uh, other two quarter-finals. Taylor Priestley, Mardel against Hamilton. Roland, yeah. congratulations. Okay. You are, you're enjoying yourself here, which, which is something you haven't done at this event for a few years. I know, I'm feeling comfortable the way I'm playing, the way I'm practicing, so yeah. A couple of lovely moments. He was, he was taking out big scores on the ball, know, and uh, you came along and smashed in that 138 to go 13 12 up. It was well, that must have been painful, yeah, I admit that. But earlier on, he took a few legs where I thought, well, you don't deserve these. Not being funny, Ronnie took them out, it's fair enough, and that's what we're all dart players for. We take them when we get. But uh, I thought I should have been up earlier on in the game and he kept on plowing along and hitting them high scores and hitting them doubles and I thought bloody hell you should have missed them by now and I should have decked in and but in the end it came all right and I won so that's the main thing. Um, 9 one is in the game you came here looked at the stats and you're a bit disappointed with that because yeah is... I've, I'm feeling really confident with myself and the way I've been playing and I've, I've been hitting them no end in practice and everything goes fluently and I thought well the first game I had nine as well you told me yeah and then I thought, well, the longer the format, you're supposed to be hitting more. And I'm looking like hitting one every two legs, at least. So I'm not too happy about this, but <laughs> there's something to practice for. Yeah, and I, and I guess practicing a few checkouts as well, because a couple of moments when you just let him back into it on occasions. I know, but that's darts, isn't it? You miss a few, you win a few. There where I took the 138 out, he probably had darts at a double, or you just missed him, or that must have been painful. But he took him out earlier on, but that's darts, and I'm not too worried about that. Now, James Wade, you're playing uh, in the semi-final. How, how aware of, were you of what he was doing when, when you were warming up for your match? Well, I know James has been practising all right, but then again, I've been practising and I know what I can do I'm, and what I'm capable of. And that's, that's the worrying thing, I think, for most opponents. I know what I'm capable of and that's what I'm aware of right now and the way I've been practising. And even if I'm not hitting me double straight away, I know I will be, be back next leg the way I've been scoring. So. I'm what, feeling all right. What you seem really good at now is crossing the line. There are occasions, remember the, uh, against Taylor when you were 11-7 up, people always throw that back at you. Oh, I know. You're, you're, a, you're a much better <laughs> player than that now though, aren't you? Oh, I hope so to be, yeah. But uh, that's the thing I've been practising for, to, to get a step ahead on that. Have, have you got the game to, to, to beat Wade and to, to beat Taylor, do you feel now? Do you feel confident enough? I think enough so, yeah. I feel confident enough for the way I've been practising and the way I've been playing. Yeah, I feel confident. I'm ever so relaxed and I'm enjoying myself. So. The only thing that is hampering me is maybe the, the lack in between games where I thought, well, maybe I could have deserved a bit more rest, but that's the way the draw is and that's it. I've got to cope with that. And uh, go well, I was going to say, there's, there's no guarantee it will be Phil because he's got a, a, a big game tonight against Dennis yeah. Priestley. And I know you've come up against Dennis Priestley in the, you know, the last few months. He, he's doing a lot of damage out there. I know, tell me about it. Dennis has <laughs> been beating me a few times, yeah. <laughs> you old bugger, where are you? <laughs> Careful of your language yeah. on the, in the no, afternoon. he's all right. Dennis is a brilliant player. So uh, I just uh, hope uh, the best player comes forward and in the end, uh, hopefully I'll be there. Congratulations. Thanks really good much. performance. We'll see it. you in the, uh, the semi-final. Look forward to that. By the uh, way, I've got to go for a drug test. So You've got to go for it, yeah. yeah. Which so is a new thing. Everybody knows it is a new thing, yeah. And I'm the lucky one of them. Oh, well, well, good luck. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> Hope you produce the, uh, the goods. <laughs> <laughs> and fill, and fill the bottle. <laughs>